Hi folks, welcome back to the Cannabis Corner. I'm your host, Kerry Burns. I'm sure a lot of you remember when the uh, grocery stores and the gr different grocers started their shrink ray practice in which they s started s selling smaller amounts of product for more money. And the first one I can remember is, is the five pound bag of sugar when it went to a four pound bag of sugar. Uh, that was sort of the beginning of what's uh, been going on by all these grocers for uh, the last few years and it's a way of uh, really boosting their uh, profit margins and cost and the, and the consumer thinking that uh, everything's the same because they're looking at the price and they said oh I paid that for that sugar last week but they don't realize that it's actually a 20 percent higher price because they took one of the five pounds away from it and uh, this is really a, a scheme that the grocers do right in front of your face I mean they they're really not ashamed to tell you that they're ripping you off. But uh, unfortunately, the uh, shrink ray has also managed to work its way into the uh, cartels in Mexico and uh, with the products that are coming across from Mexico in the form of cannabis. Uh, as, uh, as I'm sure a lot of you are aware, if you, if you do buy cannabis that's available on the street out there, you're seeing an increasing amount of trash that's uh, being pressed into the, the bales of pot that's coming across the border and all. And this is the cartel's way of enforcing their shrink ray, except that it's quite deceiving to the public because, you know, the cannabis market, anywhere you buy and all, it's based on a given amount of weight, a given weight that you're purchasing, whether you're buying it by the gram or by the ounce or by the pound, whatever, whatever means you're, you're buying from, it's, it's based on a given weight. So you're still getting the same weight of product but unfortunately the when you tear it apart and tear into it and all you see an, an increasing amount of trash and stuff like that and this is like i said this is another form of the shrink way shrink ray in progress and uh and it's a way that they add 10 to 25 percent more money to their pockets and you get anywhere from 10 to 15 to 25 percent less product for the same amount of money and uh this is uh this is just one of the things that the average cannabis smoker out there in America has to deal with. And it's just, it's ongoing, it doesn't quit. Not only is the quality of the cannabis coming from south of the border, I don't even know why they even waste their time even trying to enforce it along the border with Homeland Security and the, and the Border Patrol and all. The stuff really is, is it, it, it's so weak in, in what it does that it's really not worth enforcing. And when you look at the fact that most of these seizures are 15 to 20 percent of it, in some cases maybe 25 percent, is nothing but trash. Now this trash takes on a lot of different forms. Uh, I know a lot of it, they take the seeds, some of them is, is just a natural weight that they allow certain of the plants to seed more than they should, and you get a lot of bulk weight from the seeds. So that's one way of, of kind of adding weight to the, to the to the package and stuff when they're when they're pressing and bundling it up down there but a lot of what's going on too they're adding you know things that aren't even cannabis i mean just sticks stems i've seen grass seeds uh they grind up old stems that they and seeds that they press and they'll press that into it and all all this adds weight to it and it's and if you really separate it out and take a close look at it and all it could be up as as much as 20 25 percent of what you've bought and and you are buying it thinking you've got a hundred percent product and this is the very thing that we've seen the grocers do time and time again and now if we hadn't had enough to deal with with this cartel and all that this is one of the one of the many many reasons why cannabis needs to be completely outright legal first of all we didn't learn a thing in this country from prohibition when we had all the gangs and the Al Capone gangs and stuff like that when they had alcohol illegal all those went away when they changed the law when they repealed prohibition all the gangs disappeared this is no different we're we're going through the same period it's just a different substance and in this case for the most part and most of the eradication most of the enforcement most of the money of what's being spent by dea department of justice and the homeland security is to fight the war against cannabis they've waged the war against this plant and they are hell-bent i mean they are going to eradicate it off the face of the earth if they had their way to way about it instead of embracing this magnificent plant and all of it has to offer not only its medicinal qualities 
but also just what it will do for a person if they use it like an herb that it is in their daily routine and all. They'll be healthier, they'll be less apt to drink and use more dangerous substances like alcohol or God forbid cigarettes or even prescription drugs. This, this is the kind of thing that we're, when we have a substance illegal and all, we create all these gangs out there, all these street gangs, all are fueled by this, this Ill illegality of these substances that really when it comes down to it is a basic right and choice of the individual. No, no government anywhere has a right to tell an individual that they can't use a certain substance, no matter who they are. I don't care what country you're from or, or, who, or even if you're not from the United States. No government has a right to have domain over an individual. They weren't put here to run domain over that individual. That's, and in particular here in the United States, the land of the free, here we have all of our rights and liberties and freedoms that we're supposed to have through our constitution. This is even, you know, even a stronger point that the government has no right to have this domain. But, you know, the, the cannabis smokers in America, not only do we have to worry about this ridiculous law and law enforcement and, and all that, but we have to deal with this cartel now that's trashing up all of the stuff coming from Mexico. The cannabis itself is not worth, even if it was 100% flower tops, it's still not worth because of the potency so weak. And, it, and this is due to a lot of reasons, mainly from inexperienced growers and, and inexperienced handlers and stuff. But, but it's just... And, and, and then we don't even know really what the cartels are even spraying on that. For all we know, they could be, be uh, urinating on it, defecating on it. God knows what they could be doing to it. And yet, it's, it seems to make more sense for some reason to this government to go and spend all these millions and billions of dollars trying to enforce something and allow a cartel that pretty much can just do whatever they want. I mean, the United States government went down there and sprayed Paraquat on the cannabis and they didn't care what the cannabis smokers in America were going through during that period and all. They didn't care, well, it serves them right, they shouldn't be using an illegal substance. And, and this is just insane. And, and when you look at how safe cannabis is and that nobody's ever died or been injured from it and all that, these types of powers, powers that be in this domain over individuals is just way out of bounds and, and certainly not something that's derived by any legal means and certainly not by our constitution. So we have to, we, for, for very many, many reasons, we should make this substance legal. And of course, we, we reiterate this over and over, of course, the hemp industry and all, we're, uh, we're just sitting there letting a tree and a half dollar industry just sit, sit to the side while these other countries around the world start to develop their hemp products and all. And of course, the United States is starving for a better economy and more work and different types of jobs and a new industry. And here we are, we have one. It's been right here in our lap. We've just kind of, We've, we've played this cat and mouse game with the government, the Drug Enforcement Agency, over these stupid laws with cannabis, and we're, and we're preventing this industry from happening. And it's, it's all bogus, and it's all based on lies. None of it is based on one shred of truth and not one shred of evidence. And this makes more sense that we have to deal with a, a crook cartel that's not only a crook cartel, but they're a murdering cartel. And the product that they're bringing to us that the people in America could be supplying themselves with, or even that, growing hemp and making fuel and all the products from that, yet, yet our government thinks that this is a better way to do it. Let's just waste all this money, arrest everybody, and then allow all the violence to happen because that's not going to change it regardless of what they do as far as their enforcement phase is going. It just doesn't make sense. Why can't we have a peaceful approach where you make this substance legal, all the gangs disappear that are trying to, you know, you know, rip the American public off basically and kill whoever gets in their way if it if business turns a certain direction and not theirs. How could how can any of that make sense to the normal thinking person? How could that be better than having a substance legal where people could grow their own if they wanted to or turn it over to free enterprise. Let there be stores open up that sell cannabis and all. You don't have to have a doctor's prescription for that. You don't make people that go buy beer get a prescription. You don't make them go see a doctor before they can go buy a six pack. And that's more deadly than, than all the cannabis somebody could smoke in a, in a week would be to them in one night. Just does not make sense. And we've got to get past all these lies and we, we shouldn't have to deal with a crook cartel that's now using the shrink ray except that they, they're trying to be sneaky about it. They're, they at least are, you know, 
not proud like the grocers in America that uh, put it right in your face that, that they're ripping you off, but uh, it's still wrong, and they're and they're certainly ripping us off. And the quality is bad enough as it is. So let, let's come on, America. I mean, we really <laughs> can't y'all. You can see through the haze on all this that the government's been smoking people with for decades and decades. We really need to get on top of this issue and, and tell them to shove it because it is bogus. And I do thank you for joining the Cannabis Corner.